Good morning, everyone. It's good to have you join us once again for our Sunday time together. Uh, today, um, as we begin our uh, conversation, we're going to talk a special prayer that we use in uh, our morning prayer. You can say it every day. But as always, in order to help us get started, I hope that you'll join me as we say together the prayer our Lord taught us. So the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. So, one of the prayers that we use at the end of morning prayer, and if you are watching church today, or if you want to go back and watch when Martin and I end the service, we always say the general thanksgiving. And in the general thanksgiving, one of the things I love so much about it is it uses great words, pretty big words, to try and help us know how much does God love us. And it's not just you and me in particular, but it's you and me and your family and your friends and everybody, because everybody is part of God's creation and God loves all of God's creation. And so what it says in the prayer is it talks to us about, we bless you for your creation, preservation, all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love revealed in Jesus. And it's that word, it's a great word, immeasurable. It's one of those words that you can use when you want to sound like you're talking fancy to just let somebody know how much does Jesus love you. It's immeasurable how much Jesus loves you. Because to think about it, you can't even measure it. Well, then we can start to think about how is it that we measure things, because we have a lot of ways that we measure. If you cook, you measure using cups of water, or a half a cup of water, or a tablespoon, or a teaspoon. Whenever we build something, one of the things we do is we measure. And so we measure how much space there is between the two columns, and so it's 72 inches. That's helpful knowledge to have someday if you're ever the junior warden of the parish. So, of course, that also means it's eight feet to the outside of the columns. So, and I can measure how tall Martin is, although I can't really do it from all the way over here, but that's okay. So, we have ways that we measure things. We also sometimes can measure things by taking a length of string, and we begin to take that string and use it to pull the length that we want, and then we can come back and measure it. So one of the things I've asked Martin to do is to help us see, get an idea. If this piece of string were God's love, then how many times would it go around this column? So Martin's going to begin to do that, and as he does that, then one of the things we're going to also consider is what are some other ways that we measure things? because we also measure time. Time, when we measure time, we do that in seconds, we do it in minutes, we do it in hours and days. Of course, the big part is with years as well. And then there are other ways that we can try and measure things by counting them. Uh, and however many times something happens, a drop of water or something like that, then as we count it, we get a measurement for how bad is the leak in the spigot. So one of those things for us to remember that there's ways that we can measure things so that we can somehow get our head around and control them or use them. But what is it to actually consider looking at immeasurable? That no matter how long the tape measure is, it still cannot measure how much God loves you. And it's that wonderful gift that God really does try to reveal to us. So, obviously Martin got too dizzy to try and do this, and I didn't think through the fact that I'm currently now tied in the string. And you know what, Webster? What? 
As much string as we've used, that is still not as long or as big or as wide as God's love. Yes, and it leaves me in a tied up <laughs> circumstance. Well. Hmm, I gotta get out of here. While Webster's figuring out how to get out of there, I'm going to go ahead and lead us in the general thanksgiving. So this is a slightly shorter version than the one you'll find in the prayer book. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to everyone. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ. Please be with each of us in the week ahead, be with the sick, guide the doctors, and help us to enjoy your love and the people around us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. All right, and we will be with you next week once Webster figures out how to get out from between the columns. Uh -huh. And just remember, however much string you see there, however long a tape measure you've got, you still can't measure God's love. Thank you all very much, and we'll see you later.